everybody, welcome to Brown Girl Hair. Today's video will show you how to make your own hair oil. Um, first, before we get started, there are tons or several different carrier oils that you can use in your hair that will bring great ben benefits to your hair no matter what your hair type is. My first suggestion to you in selecting hair oils is to first research each type of carrier oil to see what benefits it can bring to your hair. If those benefits are in favor of what you need at the time for your hair, I suggest you try each oil individually to see how your hair reacts to it. If your hair loves it, then you can keep it and use it in your regimen and possibly mix it with other carrier oils that will bring you one great perfect hair oil mix just for your hair. The oils that I will be using today in order to um, moisturize actually my daughter's hair will be first grape seed oil. I uh, purchased this at a local Kroger for $6.49. You can probably find it almost anywhere. Um, I'll also be using a little of pure all natural coconut oil. This can also be found in your regular grocery store. I purchased this at Publix, but Kroger's also has it as well. I'm not sure about Walmart or some of the other major um, lines, but you can just Google it and find coconut oil anywhere. Um, I'll also be using a little jojoba oil and a very little castor oil because castor oil is very thick and I personally don't like how my daughter's hair reacts to a whole lot of castor oil. So for today these are the four oils that I will show you how I mix together to create the perfect oil that works for brown girl's hair. If this will be your first time making your own hair oil, um, my suggestion would be once you've researched which oils you would like to use and you find out the ones that work best for you, uh, my suggestion would be to use a third of each oil or either let's say equal parts of each oil. So if you use one third cup of virgin olive oil on your hair and you also want to use grape seed oil, use the same amount of each oil. Use a third cup of the grape seed and a third cup of the olive oil. That's just good for starters. And once you get a feel for which oil you would like to be in your hair a little more, then you can pretty much tweak it from there. But equal parts of each oil is a great place to start. I'm going to start making my oil by using the coconut oil first simply because pure coconut oil solidifies when it gets to I want to say around 74 or 75 degrees of room temperature it solidifies so you would have to warm it up a little bit in the microwave to melt it down. This is how it looks just white solid white and I'm going to take a couple of spoonfuls and I'm going to put it in the microwave and melt it down. It's been warmed up in the microwave and it's now in its liquid form and I've decided to use a fourth cup of coconut oil in my oil mixture. So I'm using a fourth cup of coconut oil. Now I'm going to pour the one fourth cup of coconut oil into what will be my main holder for all of my oils mixed together. Now what I want to do is use, I'm going to use a little more than a fourth of uh, grapeseed oil because I want this to be really the bulk of my oil. So I'm going to use a little more than a fourth. So 
So let's just say a third. I'm about at one third cup of grapeseed oil. It doesn't have to be warmed up because it does not solidify. And I'm going to use just a little bit of jojoba oil. Jojoba oil, what I like about it is it gives the hair a real nice shine. So that's why I like to add jojoba oil. And I'm just going to use a very little bit. This is probably more like a teaspoon. But let me get a teaspoon so that our measurements can be accurate. So I decided to go into my cabinet and actually grab a teaspoon. And I was just about right on it. But you can use a teaspoon, a little more, a little less, totally up to you. And last, we'll do our castor oil. And I'm going to put a very little bit of castor oil, probably half a teaspoon. Castor oil. Now, as I said before, all you have to really experiment with the different oils with your hair or your child's hair to see what's going to work best for you because as in everything else, when you're dealing with natural hair, what well, works for somebody else may not quite work for you. You might have to tweak it a little bit. So um, just keep that in mind when you're um, putting together your recipe. And what I'm going to do is just warm this up a little bit just to get the oil to blend together. Which is not necessary, but it's just my thing, what I want to do. So... Not for a very long period of time. I'm just going to put it in the microwave like for maybe five seconds or so. And that'll be it. It'll be the end of our oil. You can take it and pour it in whatever container you would like to use. My suggestion would be to um, help the oils to last just a little bit longer. To use darker bottles. Um, but is not required or it's not necessary. Also keep in mind that with carrier oils, they do go rancid, which means, another word for oil kind of going bad. So you do want to check the shelf life on each oil that you choose. And you also want to look at the expiration date on them because oils do go bad. Um, when they go bad, they'll typically change in color, get darker, and they'll have a odor unlike the normal odor that the oil may bring. Um, also keep in mind another reason that I do like and use grapeseed oil is because grapeseed oil also holds, it, um, holds other odors. Like if you wanted to put a little fragrance in it or a little essential oil, maybe tea tree oil, which is good for the hair. Um, it'll hold that tea tree oil fragrance in there and I like that a lot about great sea oil. So keep that in mind and you know just um, as in anything else do your research first and figure out what works for you. I can't really say that too much but it's very important that you do your research first. Please stay tuned for our next video which will show you my new method for how I now moisturize brown girl's hair using the oil that we just made and also this roots only applicator. Thanks so much for watching. Please continue to tune in and if you haven't already, subscribe to Brown Girl's Hair. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you next time. Bye.